this is an interesting set of data actually that we're going to be working with this 2009 Canadian Journal of Human Sexuality study. So it talks about this table of data but we'll have several tables of data that come from this study. So this one table though talks about, um, says the data shows gender differences in response to partner influence and social expectation questions among students who had ever had sexual intercourse. So our particular question here is did the students use condoms last time they had intercourse? That was the question answered. Let's talk about what the sample consists of. The sample of this study included only students who had ever had sexual intercourse. That was 30.7% of the total sample for this big study, right? That yielded 2,145 respondents after corrections. It says the age range for the study sample was 13 to 21 years old. The mean was 15.8, standard deviation of 1.19. The vast majority were 14 to 17 year olds. That's about 93% of the study that, that was involved in this particular set of questions, and 45% were 16 years old. Less than 2% were aged 13 or 19 to 21. Okay, so clearly the overwhelming amount is somewhere between 14 and 17 years old. And of course, this is only um, the 31% or so of the population of the people in the study that had had sexual intercourse in that age bracket. So what we're gonna do is look at this table of data. Um, when I went and expanded the table so it would be big enough for us to see it, some of the columns got shifted out of whack. So you'll see that this should say male, then female. The total should be up here, and these totals should be moved up one level higher. And down here in the corner, we should have the grand total of 2,145. The problem asks us to find the expected cell counts here is for um, cell 2, 1, and cell 2, 2. We're going to talk about how to read this notation, but I'm going to I have a drawn version of this table to work with for this problem so we don't have to look at it all out of whack like this. But let's read the question involved in the table. It says, did you use a condom the last time you had intercourse? And so it's either males or females responding and they're either saying, of course, yes or no to that question. All right, so let me show you um, the table properly written so it doesn't have all that shifting there. This is basically the table uh, copied correctly. The males, the females, and again, yes or no is the question of whether they used condoms the last time they had sexual intercourse. And you see that um, you know, 700 of the males said yes, uh, 744 of the females said yes, 244 of the males said no, 457 of the females said no, and this gives us these totals, and then there's our grand total for the survey. Now, we, were we want us to find, they're asking us to find the expectation for cell 2, comma 1. So when you look at this, this is a 2 by 2 table. It's two rows and two columns. And that's how we name cells. We do, that's how we name a table. It's a row by column naming system. So when you want to say it's a 2 by 2, that means it's two rows by two columns. And we always start with a row. So this is the row number, this is the column number. What they're telling us is find the expectation for the cell that has that address, basically. And so it's saying the second row, first column. So we're talking about this guy here. What they would like us to do is to find the expected value for that cell. Well, the formula is actually very easy. It's gonna always be, for all of these, the row total times the column total over the grand total. That's it, that's all you have to do. So we're gonna just fill in those numbers for this particular problem, right? So you're talking about the row total. So this cell is in this row and the total there is 701. So it's going to be 701 times the column total. Now the column total is 944, right? Again, when we say column total, we mean that's the column this number is lying in. It's in this column, it's in this row. So 701, 944, and that'll all be divided by the grand total, which is 2,145. And that's gonna give you the answer. Let's see what that turns out to be. It's 701 times 944 divided by 2,145. When we're done, we get the answer 308 0.51, let's say. So 308.51. Okay. So remember how to interpret this. This is what we expected to see in this cell if we have the assumption that the um, 
the data is independent. That means males and females and condom usage. In other words, gender and com condom usage is independent. In other words, they do not depend upon one another. So basically what we're saying is that you know it'd be just as likely for a male to not use a condom as a female not to use a condom, that sort of thing. If they're independent, then this is what we'd expect to see in this cell based on the total here that we have. Of course, we see 244, so there's a difference between them, right? And a fairly large difference. All right, let's look at the expected cell count for the cell in address 2, comma 2. That means the second row, second column. That's this value, right? Okay, so first let's plug in the row total. What's the row total? Well, that's 701 again, right? Times the column total. For this guy, it's 1201. Divided by the grand total, 2145. And again, if we work that out, it's 701 times 1201 divided by 2145. When we're done, we get 392.49. Okay, so that's it. Those are our two expectations.